Hey, what's up guys? This is the final round and my name is Jordan. This is a channel where the episodes come out the day before the lines drop. Um, once the lines do drop, I have a Discord. The link is in the description. Um, there's great discussion going on during the day um, with a great community of, of very smart people. We discuss the lines all day long, trying to find the best plays as they come out. Um, um, and a lot of them don't pertain to the opportunities that I give. Sometimes uh, some really low lines just come out and uh, there's people who are just looking for every possible opportunity with every single tool possible. And uh, it doesn't have to exactly be from this video. And uh, I think it's great conversation. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to make it into the Discord over the past few days. It's like when you when you go out sick from work and you come back and there's just a ton of emails and extra stuff to do. Um, I'm catching up and, and hopefully soon I'll be able to get in there and be a little bit more active in the Discord um, like I want to be. Um, I don't charge for picks. I don't want to charge for picks. Um, I don't think you should have to pay for something that you don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, so if you do well and you, and you feel like giving back, uh, you can donate to the channel. I have a cash app and a Venmo in the description, find around 11, or you can do a, a thanks button on YouTube and that also uh, donates. And uh, if you can, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you have a little bit of extra time, leave a comment for the algorithm. I asked everyone yesterday if you're a cat or a dog person. And uh, there's a lot of dog people, a little bit of cat people, and uh, a bird guy. Uh, so, um, pretty much what I expected. So. so, for the word that you can put into the comment section for the algorithm, um, it's, it's what we're all here for. I know I've done money before, but we're all here to, to make cash. Uh, you can just put cash in the comment section and um, that'll help the algorithm and help get the video out there and uh, help the channel. So I appreciate all that. Appreciate all the subscribers, all the people who have donated. Um, uh, you, you all are great. So let's get into these picks and uh, not waste any more of your time. My first pick, this guy just had a really good game that he's coming off of. I like Window Carter Jr. Up against the Pacers. The Pacers give up the third most rebounds to the center position. Over his last five home games has 14 points and eight and a half rebounds. So he, he is coming off a game where he got well over 10 rebounds. He's averaging eight and a half, going up against a, a team that's giving up the third most to the centers. So we're hoping to see his line around seven and a half or, or or eight and a half, I, I think is fine, uh, but definitely seven and a half would be a good play uh, for Wendell Carter Jr. My second play, we, we got to keep going with this guy uh, as long as he's coming through. Um, I'm going with Nick Claxton, only if Joel Embiid sits. Um, Nick Claxton, he's just been on a tear scoring, rebounding, and blocks. Uh, his fantasy score has been hitting like crazy. Uh, I think if Joel Embiid is out, he's going to be able to do whatever he wants to again. And uh, this this is all opened up because Kevin Durant's out and he's getting more scoring opportunities and he's getting more involved. And over his last five road games, he has 18 and a half points, 10 and a half rebounds and three and a half blocks. So keep an eye on that Joel Embiid injury status. Um, it's still up in the air, questionable. Um, if he's out, uh, look for Nick Claxton to have a good game. In my third pick, I'm going with Josh Giddy up against the Hawks. The Hawks give up the fourth most assists to the shooting guard position and the seventh most fantasy points to the shooting guard position. So I'm looking definitely at the assists for Josh Giddy. Over his last five home games, he has 18 points, six and a half assists, and six rebounds. So with that six and a half assists, we we want his line to be around six um, with them giving up so many assists, but they're giving up the seven, seventh most fantasy points. So that means they're giving up uh, other stat categories, just not like in the top 10 or, or so, but um, seventh most fantasy points is a good all around game for the shooting guard position. So you could look at PRA uh, or fantasy points for him if you like where his lines are at, if they're not too high, um, but definitely assist for Josh Giddy in this game. And my fourth pick, I'm staying with the same team, uh, Jalen Williams. The Hawks give up the eighth most points, 
the second most rebounds, eighth most assists, and the most fantasy points to the power forward position. And Jalen Williams, over his last five home games, has 15 and a half points, five rebounds, and three and a half assists. So this is definitely a good spot for points, rebounds, and assists. Um, they're giving up a ton to, to all those stat categories, but you could focus on the second most rebounds if you wanted to uh, that they give up and just and just try to go for his rebounds um we'll, we'll have to see where the lines come out but uh compare those to his averages and uh you can pick and choose whether you like his points uh rebounds or assists uh just a singular um stat or you could just go pra overall my fifth pick on the other side of that this guy he just came back from injury um, they kind of were easing him into things and now he had a, his big uh, 36 minute game so I'm looking at Clint Capella up against the Thunder the Thunder give up the 11th most points the fourth most rebounds the six most assists and the six most fantasy points to the center position and in Capella's last game for uh, 36 minutes he got 16 points 12 rebounds two blocks and two steals so i i think he's gonna get a full 30 plus minute game uh, again here you could look at just about anything um if you want to just look at rebounds because uh, they give up the the fourth most rebounds uh, but with them getting the two blocks two steals you could look at fantasy points um that, that might be a good play as well my sixth pick, I'm looking at Drew Holiday up against the Nuggets. Uh, the Nuggets, they give up the third most points, the most assist, and the sixth most fantasy points to the point guard position. And Drew Holiday, over his last five games, has 25 and a half points, nine assists, and four rebounds. So we're definitely looking at points and assists here, or you could just look at assist alone um, if his points prop is too high. Those last five games have been uh, mostly without Giannis, uh, so we we could look at just the, the assist if you feel uncomfortable with his points. Uh, we'll see where the line comes out for the points, but uh, uh, he was get, he's getting nine assists over his last five games, and they're giving up the most assists. So uh, definitely assist for Drew Holiday. My seventh pick, got to go with the point guard against the Rockets. I'm looking at Monte Morris. Uh, the Rockets give up the most points, the second most assists, and the most fantasy points to the point guard position. And Monte Morris over his last five games has 14 points, six and a half assists, and three rebounds. And uh, since I'm recording this the night before, um, they did have his lines. Uh, they're going to be playing a back-to-back. -back. His, his lines uh, for his points were 10 and a half. His assists were four and a half, and his PRA was 18 and a half. So I don't think that's that going to be that bad and in this matchup he he's he's gonna have a great opportunity to hit all of those my eighth pick i like buddy healed up against the magic magic give up the most points and the most three pointers to the small forward position and that is exactly what buddy healed likes to do over his last five road games he has 16 and a half points six rebounds and three assists so i know they like to have his points prop around 17 and a half I think this is going to be a great spot for him or, or just his, uh, his three-point prop that comes out. Um, so, liking Buddy Heald up against the Magic. And my ninth pick, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, Alfred Sangoon up against the Wizards. The Wizards give up the fifth most points to the center position. And Sangoon, over his last five home games, has 20 points, nine and a half rebounds, and four and a half assists. So they're, they're giving up the most points. You could definitely just look at points. They've been having his points prop around 16 and a half ish. Uh, I expect it to, to stay there. If Kevin Porter Jr. comes back, maybe it drops a little bit. Um, which I don't think it's going to affect him too much. Um, I think that affects more of the guards. You, they've been having his rebounds around 10 and a half, uh, which is getting pretty high for him. Uh, the Wizards um, aren't giving up. Uh, they're like middle of the road with uh, rebounds and assists. So you could play those, but definitely uh, take a look at points with them giving up the, uh, the fifth most points to the center position. So that's my nine picks. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, thank you all for watching. And uh, God bless you all. Hope you have a, a great night uh, betting. Um, I don't know all the results. The games have barely even started as I filmed this. So my name is Jordan. It's the final round. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.